Hello darlings, welcome back to this week's video. I've spent the last two weeks making over the laundry room. I think it's been a year and a half since I did the sunroom makeover and because the laundry and the sunroom are connected, I originally wanted to finish off the laundry back when I did that makeover. It's been a long time coming, but I'm so glad I finally made time to do this makeover because it's totally transformed the room. Our sunroom used to be 1970s wood paneling, which was really faded and it really aged the room. And now with the whole room painted yellow, it really just brightens it up and makes it so lovely on a sunny day. Even on a gloomy day, it's still so warm and lovely in there. I've been putting up with the laundry for a while. We haven't had any curtains on those windows and during winter, it gets really cold here. And especially when you don't have any window coverings, the cold just comes straight through. There's a couple of things that I'm going to improve in the laundry, which will also make it look so much nicer, but also a lot more practical. I hope you enjoy this makeover as much as I do. I had such a fun time doing it. So let's get on with the video. This is our basic little laundry here. If you remember when I did the sunroom makeover, we painted all of this room here yellow and we continued it on into the laundry because it's all one room. I've got curtains that I want to put up. We're going to be painting. We're going to just spruce up this laundry because a lot of the time it's just covered in dust and we've got dirty washing everywhere. I'm going to improve the storage in this area here where the ironing board is. There's just everything kind of gets thrown in the corner like mops and brooms and stuff and it's a little bit dirty. Another little thing that we're going to be changing is our recycling bin. That is just like a regular generic rubbish bin that we've been using to transfer our recycling from the kitchen into and then when that gets full we take it outside and empty it but I've got a much cuter bin that we just picked up yesterday and it's lovely it's from the 60s or 70s and it matches perfectly with the curtains I couldn't have planned it better I bought the curtains I bought the fabric for the curtains beforehand and then I found this bin and I was like well it's just meant to be. I've got to get it. <laughs> anyway let's get started on this makeover. I'm going to be sanding the cupboards today and we're going to be painting them. So let's get into it. The amount of dust on here, honestly. We have had this tiny impractical rubbish bin beside the dryer where I would throw away the lint. It has become so untidy and is not pretty to look at, so I'll be doing a fun little DIY later on for that. I was also keeping my shoes here from outside, so it was really dirty and in need of a good clean. I think the blue here is going to match perfectly with our curtain colour and it's just going to make the whole room look bright and beautiful. After two coats of blue paint and working into the night, I started having second thoughts on my colour choice. I don't really know whether this is going to be the colour. I mean, I paid $60 for a little tin of paint, so I really hope this is the colour, but I'm not sure. I mean, it goes beautiful with the yellow, but I'm just not sure whether it's too much. I don't really know. I'm just going to sleep on it, see what it looks like tomorrow in the light, and hopefully it's the right colour. I feel like with the blue painter's tape around everything, it just makes it look really blue and too much. So I'm hoping when we remove that and then when I start to put up the curtains that it's going to look okay. So fingers crossed, sleep on it tonight and see how it looks in the morning light. Good morning! After seeing it in the light, the colour is not it. It is definitely not it. Look at that. It's so bright and glaring. It looks way too cartoonish. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to go to the paint shop again and <sighs> buy some more paint. Hopefully in a colour that's going to be right because I don't want to buy a bunch of sample pots. I just want to <laughs> get this done as quickly as possible. So I'm going to try and choose a colour that is much, much lighter and maybe almost a bluey gray. So it just will harmonize with everything in here and not just stick out like a sore thumb because at the moment it looks, it doesn't look good. Like it's such a pretty color, but it just 
looks wrong in here, like really wrong. Um, so I've only done two coats so far um, and I'm just going to continue doing curtains today and then I will get some new paint either today or tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. What colour is it? I realised it's Ikea blue. It's not a good look. <laughs> Instead of fixating on my huge color choice mistake, I headed over to my Pinterest board for the laundry. Like all my projects, I like to have a Pinterest page to inspire my design choices as I'm making over a room. I found a lovely picture of a paper pattern for 1940s curtains that I decided to take inspiration for and replicate it as best I could. I sometimes further narrow down my inspiration board when I need to make decisions on color choices, fabrics, and prints for the walls. I like using this website because you can group all your images together and add notes, which can be really helpful. Okay, forevermore. Oh, very white. This one, the slightly bluer one, less green. Oh, this is a nice brush. So this one that I've just painted over there from the sample pot is Rendezvous and I think it's gonna be the blue we go for. The one on the left is, is it's not a pastel blue, but it, I think, fits the space a bit more. It's nice, it's, a, it's more of a warm tone. After finally deciding on the new blue, I got started on the curtains before we headed out to pick up the paint. Last night we went to the hardware store and picked out two different types of blue to replace this horrid blue that's behind me. And anyway, we decided to go for the rendezvous. So we went to the hardware store this morning and picked up some new paint. It was the same price, I think over $60. Hopefully this is not a mistake and this is going to be the blue. When I painted it on the cupboard and the window frame, it looks really, really nice. I'm going to try and get at least three coats of the paint done. I'm going to sand all of this blue and then go in with the paint. Also, I picked up some very cute canisters that I can use for the laundry powder because at the moment we're just using an old coffee jar, which is fine, but I just thought, why not make it cute? So we've got these adorable canisters. Last night I made the cutest little curtain that I'm going to be putting around the shelf there. I saw a picture from like a 1950s drawing that had a little curtain on a shelf and I thought it was the sweetest idea ever. I've put velcro on the back of it and then I'll put velcro onto the shelf and just stick it on and then we can whip it off to wash it. It'll be great. I picked up some little brass hooks so we might use that for like a hand towel next to the laundry sink. I also picked up this from the op shop a while ago and it's got all the little pegs that you can just fix into the holes here so I might use that or these. I haven't made any final decisions with the laundry. I created my mood board like a couple of weeks ago for this but this project I think is the least organized I've been for anything. Usually I plan months in advance and like I know what exact color I'm using for everything. This project has definitely been chucking everything together. Some things that haven't worked we've had to spend more time on and spend more money to fix them but I'm hoping that when this laundry is done it's going to be beautiful. I picked up this little outdoor brochure holder that you usually put on your letterbox. I saw this lady do the most amazing thing with hers. She spray painted it and wrote lint so it's like your little lint box and you can attach this to the wall and then you can decorate it however you want and there's plenty of storage for your lint. So neat. I roughed up the blue paint, ready to paint the lovely lighter blue on top. This blue was perfect and suited the room much more than the darker blue. Oh, this brush is lovely. I painted into the evening again, pottering around listening to music, which is always the best part of a makeover. I also used the blue paint for the lid of the lint bin to really tie the room and its accessories together. By the next day, I was ready to keep going and start changing the feel of our small and boring old laundry. I attached the little blue curtain I made and oh my gosh, it just made the shelf a statement piece. It's so cute! Stop it, it's so cute! I started sewing the floral curtains and created my own curtain tape by using some spare ribbon I had, which the curtain rod will slide into. I 
I've actually never made curtains before, surprisingly. Um, so hopefully this works and it looks decent when it's up. We adjusted the length of the curtain rod to fit the window and attached the double brackets on either side of the window frame. It gathers beautifully at the top and the drop is just lovely and I've left enough room so I can kind of end it in a slope if I want, like the picture, a little bit higher there and then slowly sloping out. I might add ruffles or maybe just leave it as is because it's really cute and with this tied back there, I think that will be so pretty. I'm so happy with that. Yay! And this is going to be perfect at night because it's winter at the moment here in Melbourne and it's cold. The cold just comes straight through the glass. We've never had curtains here, so this is gonna be a really nice change to keep the heat inside. I finished off the matching floral ruffle and hung it up. I'm so happy with how this little brochure bin turned out. This is gonna be perfect for the lint. I think it really brings it together, matching that blue with the blue paint in the laundry. I've just been drawing out some different styles for lint. I'm really unsure about which one I'm going to go with. James reckons just keep it simple and do this one here, but I don't know. I kind of wanna do a fancy L for some reason. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna have a little play around and maybe draw it out on here and see how it looks. I ended up going for the classic letters in capitals, which seemed like the most fitting style for the laundry. I picked up some beautiful daffodils from the markets in preparation for the finishing touches in the laundry. I whipped up the last curtain on the sewing machine and finally hung the finished curtains up. I transferred the laundry powder from our old coffee jar, which was actually really difficult to open, and into the lovely new canisters, which just look so lovely on the shelf now. I didn't find a nice dispenser for the wool detergent, so I'm still on the hunt for the perfect bottle. I played around with the arrangement of items for display, including this gorgeous O-Cedar floor polish bottle that I actually found in Grandma's cupboard here. Now for some much needed organisation of the cupboards. I'm currently cleaning out the cupboards here and on top I had a couple of baskets and also this and look how much dust is on it that's so terrible oh my gosh anyway I'm going to clean it up and I'm going to give it to the op shop because I'm not using this in here and it kind of doesn't go with the color scheme anymore I used a dark grey acrylic paint for the letters on the lint bin. You could also use a paint pen or decal letters. It's also mandatory to sing to Taylor Swift as you do this. I've just attached my pegs into the board. This was $4 from the op shop, what a steal. I've also got some varnish here that we picked up from the hardware store and it's hopefully gonna be a similar timber to what we already have in the sunroom. So it'll go really nice against the blue and the yellow, a nice contrast rather than leaving it a plain timber. Oh, that's nice. I might, ugh, it stinks. I might even only do one coat. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, it stinks so much. I had a sweet little magpie friend that was very curious and wanted to join in on the fun.
behind the dryer and the washing machine I have never vacuumed before and considering how much dust accumulates onto the windows and all over here the amount of dust that we get on the floor from the dryer behind here is so bad this is the crack of doom I tell you so much dust there's a sock behind there that dropped down there like a couple of years ago and the dust has just built up on top of the sock <gasps> It's so bad. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. I'm gonna get out the vacuum cleaner and get rid of it. I won't be missing this lint bin. Oh my gosh, what a mess. The next day was the final day for finishing touches. Since we had an offcut from the curtain rod, instead of throwing it out, we attached some muslin brackets onto it and screwed it into the cupboard underneath for some much needed hanging space. We attached hooks for the option of tie back curtains, put in the newly stained peg rail and puttied over the screws, hung up the gorgeous new lint bin and swapped out the old recycling bin. Last but not least was giving our beautiful old 1940s ironing board the matching cover it needed to fit in with the new color scheme. This old cover was also too large for our very narrow wooden World War II ironing board. I used the same blue fabric as the shelf curtain. I used the old ironing board cover as a template and used its drawstring cord to fasten it in place. I love my little laundry now. It looks so cute and every time I go in it just puts a smile on my face. I hope you enjoyed the makeover. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you thought and I'll see you next week. Bye. I haven't made any final decisions. I haven't made any final decisions. I'll take you home. I don't know about you. I've been putting up with a daughter. Uh, <laughs>